Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is June 14th today and I'm on a mission to get a plant for the living room and that is because the plant that was in the living room is toxic to kitties. I know, bad mom. But I did not know this when we took the plant in and Kiyomi was fine with it. He did not bother it, but now that we have Levi, he's climbing it, he wants to attack it. So we moved it outside where he can't get to it. And now the living room looks pretty empty without the plants, so I'm going to go to the florist, is it what it's called? Garden center. I'm also going to check out Home Depot to see what they have. So let's get on the road and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> So I found the money tree. So cute. They are $27. This one also is pretty cool. It looks like it would be in like Lord of the Rings or something. Yay, honey's here. So we made it in store. After you thrust from first, I'm gonna look around. I'm so excited. Getting a mirror. So cool. So pretty. So we need planters, but we don't know if we're gonna get any here because we just don't know. If, I don't know if I want the plastic ones or the heavy ones that might break because it's just a little risky. But we got pillows. Where are the pillows? Pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Michael wants this. Yes. Michael wants hand towels. Oh, these are placemats. Which we could use too. Yes. So we're done and we're very hungry. Not sure what we're gonna eat. Michael's putting up the cart and yeah, we're just gonna make a plan and then go home. It's so windy. My hair is just all over the place. I'm so excited about the stuff we got though. Very appreciative of all the things. We're at Ruby Tuesdays. We got our garden salad. <laughs> we got the same sandwich, but he got onion rings. So the best. I got mesh. We're back at home and I thought that I would show you guys all the things that I got today. So I'll start with all the home goods stuff since it's right in front of me. Got some dish towels because Michael wanted more dish towels. So this gray and white, this was $6. Michael got himself a clean canteen for $17. He likes this brand so we got lucky with this. This isn't dirty laundry. <laughs> I got a bath pillow. I've always wanted one of these, so I'm excited to use this. This was $6. Got some black pepper glass, so I really like that. My kombucha. This is really good. Watermelon. If you've never tried this, get this flavor. It's so good. I bought a kitten. <laughs> we got these animal, like, bag clips because we needed some. I just saw them and they were so cute, like, in the checkout aisle. And Michael's like, yeah, we need them. Let's get them. Why is that my Michael voice? <laughs> <laughs> They're so adorable, look at them. And then we got some placemats. I actually think these might be too long maybe for our thing, who knows. But I wanted placemats for our bedside table. This was $13, clips were $3, and the black pepper was $6. We got three pots for the plants. We got this one, which is really nice. I like it. And then these two are matching. So these are going to go outside and the other one is going to be inside. We got a piece of art and this was on clearance or something. It was $18. And this is it right here. It reminds me of like in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix when they're operating and flying and stuff. We got two huge pillows. I've been looking for pillows and it's so difficult for me to find pillows that are first of all, not feather filled because they won't have any support. These ones are like a linen-ish material with this really nice trim. Michael liked them, so got Did those. I like? Did you? And the last thing is the mirror. So this is the mirror and the details on it are really pretty. This is going in the bedroom. This was $80. It's 24 by 58, so when it's leaning a little bit, I can see my whole bob. This is really cool. Hello. At Home Depot, I got this for the money tree, which I don't even know if I need anymore. And then I got plant food and these plant sticks for the indoor plants. And that's basically all that I got. So actually what we got, I'm very excited. We want to change up the living room a little bit and see what's up with that. We don't know what we're doing yet. Hey guys, it's the next day. And right now I'm about to continue fixing living room. It's basically already done, just the curtains 
and I don't know what else really, it's just the curtains. And I think it'll really bring a nice element of elegance and like fanciness because the curtains we have right now were just like drab, they're gray. So I'm gonna show you guys the curtains in the other room that I'll be taking off and putting on to here. So let's go. These are the curtains, they're really nice gold. I'm going to take that off, they're a nice grommet. And there's actually two of these on here right now, so I might just take off one and leave the other ones in here. We'll see. This is the before, this is the after. I love it, it looks so good. They go all the way down to the floor. All right, so I'm so happy with the curtains. It looks so nice, it makes this place look really fancy. And I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the place. You can kind of already see, um, I did not vlog a lot of before, but I will try to find clips of what the living room looked like before so you could see the layout and stuff and what we did. And I'm going to go over the reasoning why I arranged it. I want Michael to help me. So let's get to the tour. So this is an overview of what the living room looks like. And I'm pretty happy with it. So this corner over here, we decided to make a chase lounge where we can hang out. The cats love to lay on this. And this is actually part of our big couch as I showed you before and oh, there's Levi. So this lamp was Michael's, the lampshade needs to be replaced, but it's a lot more complicated than I thought. Finding one, that kind of goes with the theme. And this little table I actually used to film with, so it just stays here as a little side table. I don't know where to put it really, so that's where it stays. Here we have Kiyomi and a little toy. So the owl pillow I made, and I actually have a video on that. It's supposed to be Hedwig, Harry Potter's owl. And this love pillow, my mom actually gave to Michael. It came with the blanket. His family has the blanket. We have the pillow. I want to cover it. I just haven't gotten around to it. This blanket is from West Elm, from Michael's brother. Also, this big fluffy blanket is also from there. Behind there, I just have a bunch of workout stuff. It's a perfect place to hide it. And then I have this little plant and this bookshelf a family member gave to me. It's mid-century modern, but we decided to just take it anyway and put all of my Harry Potter goodies. So I have a bunch of cute little things and I have this map that you get with a wand from Universal Studios. This is the Ravenclaw room, so that's what we have Michael's Ravenclaw with his wand. It's Sirius Black's wand. This is actually the first piece of art that we hung up and it's still on the hanger. I need to put it on something else. I need to get like a pants hanger. This is where I keep all of my movies and some of my pops, my books. I don't have all the Harry Potter books. I want to own them though. And some crystals and random flowers and things. Over here we have some Japanese items. Michael ordered the sword online. That was in a vlog and I got the umbrella from the Brooklyn Botanic Garden when we went for the festival. And then we have a cat bed. So the couch is the Amanda XL sectional. So the other part of the sectional goes right here. As you can see, we're hiding this with a blanket because it's black with those little metal grooves to attach the other side. Underneath, we're hiding some board games. I actually rearranged this last night. This actually was on the end and pushed over and this chase was over here. I decided to make this the open part and remove the chase here so it was more open. And I like it better this way because there's more room to walk. It just feels more inviting. The only problem now is that this is off center, which I don't know how I feel about that. So this is our coffee table. I actually thrifted this from a thrift store and I got it for $25. It's funny because I was actually praying that I would find one. It was such a surprise when I found this and it actually has a lock. I keep decorations inside so it is functional. And on top we have a very simple, we just have the PlayStation controller, TV remote, this beautiful bowl that Michael got for me. I have a matching plate. And this tray has some magical goodies, the Fantastic Beasts book Michael got for me. And I found that Owl's book at this random gift shop. We have a letter opener, a little unicorn, and this hourglass I found at Home Goods. I got it for Michael as a Christmas gift because it was really cool. This is our entertainment center. It's from Ikea and it's pretty basic, but it's functional. There's a lot of, you know, entertainment goodies like video games. We have the Switch, we have the PlayStation. 
We have books, the router is hiding under there, and just some random things. This is the only bookshelf that we have, but we are getting another one. My aunt and uncle are moving and we're getting the one just like this that's in my cousin's room and we're going to put it in the dining room. So there will be more places to put stuff. I'm really excited. On either side of the TV, we have some candles, crystals, place for incense. I just put these string lights there. They were in our bedroom. And then over here we have a lantern and my Triwizard Cup along with Norbert, which I found in Michael's little box down there. We have Michael's guitar over here as well as a money tree. And this telescope is not ours. It's our friend's. It's been here for two weeks. So I'm waiting for it to leave. Over here we have some pictures that are Michael's. That one I actually drew. I copied it though. Um, I didn't make it up, but I did draw it. And these curtains my aunt gave to me. They're these beautiful gold curtains and they're just gorgeous. They make it look really fancy. One of the main things we changed in here was the desk placement. So this desk was actually right behind here. This was moved over before we got this cat tree. And Michael wanted the desk over here, so there was, I don't know, a separate office space. And I like it. There's still a little hallway right there. And we can still put our heads back on this, which is why this blanket is here, because this is not a couch that you can sit on and lay your head back. Also, since we have the door to the balcony right here, we wanted to open up this space because it was pushed in more and we wanted more of a space to walk through. So the desk is nice. It just has a regular storage. I have a yoga block under there for my feet and Levi loves to chew on this feather, unfortunately, and it bothers Sherlock. And we can connect our laptops to the outlet, which is really functional. So behind here is like the unattractive corner. So we have the trash can, nicely hidden, and this Ikea shelf that has some storage. And on top, this is where we keep all of our random goodies. We can keep little things out because Levi will get to it. And then we have a tissue box, candle, and under here is some storage. This one is pretty empty. This is tools and like command strips and stuff. This is all cat stuff, cat treats and everything. These are curtains. This is Michael's binder book for work and then photos. This rug is from Ikea and over in that corner is the litter box. I'm not gonna show it to you because no one needs to see that. And then I have the shelf with plants on it. This is like the ugly corner, I'm telling you. And then we have another litter box, which is not supposed to be there, but it is. Directly behind the couch, I have this really nice art that I made. It's actually a kit. So the gold glittery stars were already made and they had holes in them. It came with this string and I have a silver moon, but I decided to attach it to this wooden dowel and I painted the dowel gold. It's not that gold, but it's gold enough. I attached everything while it was on the floor so I could see how it cascaded down and it's so pretty. Since the Ravenclaw common room is in a tower and they have like an astronomy type of thing going on, I wanted stars in this room, so this is perfect. Alongside this, this is actually my old hamper. I keep the kitty litter in there, so that's covered with a blanket. No one needs to know. And then this is the cat tree that Michael bought. I wish that it was like blue, but it's fine. We'll probably end up getting another one eventually. We'll see. I'm moving this into the bedroom. And then we have random scratching post, of course. This pillow I got at Home Goods. This is from Ikea. There's actually a blanket inside, so it's quite flat. And the purpose of this pillow in particular is so we can put it on the coffee table and put your feet up if you wanna do that. This adorable squishy pillow is from GameStop. This I found from Forever 21. So that is my living room. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I know this video was a long time in the making. The footage from earlier was actually filmed probably three weeks ago, maybe even a month, but I finally got around to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions where anything is from, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you're having a magical day. Bye.